What we're going to do here is uh, remove a cassette from a bike. Now, traditionally when a bike comes in for a service, we want to check and see how much stretch is in the chain uh, and how much wear is on your drivetrain itself. What we have here is a, a chain checker. It just measures on a little cam and it will just measure how much stretch is in the chain. It's uh, on the gauge 0 to 1.0. 1.0 is obviously over the range and that's when you require a new, a new chain and 9 to 10 you'll require a new cassette as well. So, so chain checker goes pins fall into the links and we just slide this unit across here and we take a reading off the cutout in the middle of the, the tool itself. And it's giving us about 0.5. So that's still fine. We've still got a fair bit of life left in that one. So now we're just going to remove the wheel. Easiest way to remove a wheel quickly is to put it into the smallest gear on the back. So we just drop that down. So we're in the smallest gear there. We also release the brake. A little cam adjustment just to spread the arms so that we clear the tyre when we remove the wheel. So, and just remove the wheel. What we'll be doing now is removing the cassette from the bike. So we need to start by removing the skewer. Putting that aside. The free hub body that holds the cassette is threaded internally and this lock ring has a little shoulder which pulls it all nice and tight onto that body. So this is what we're going to remove. Now to remove it we have to go anti-clockwise which obviously that's the way the free hub body is going. So we need what they call a chain whip to hold this steady while we undo the lock ring. Okay so we need the chain whip. Stop the actual cassette from turning on the free hub and the lock ring tool to remove the lock ring from the bike. You will find on most Shimano hubs, especially the, the 10 speed racing gears, they will run a spacer on the free hub body, which just means that they can run a 9 speed, 8 speed or 10 speed cassette. 10 speed cassettes using narrower chains don't need as much room so we need a spacer to take that room up. As you can see on the free hub body, there's a keyway where the cogs actually sit so we need to line those up when we reinstall the cassette. Obviously we don't need the chain whip now because we're going against the direction of the freewheel. Nip that up. And reinstall the skewer. Okay, putting it back into the bike. 
because we put it into the lowest gear when we removed it, we put it onto the lowest gear to put it back in. And the wheel falls straight back into position. It's just a matter of doing up your quick release. Closing your brakes. Making sure that the brakes don't rub. And finally, going through the gears to make sure we've got smooth oper operation and that nothing's been thrown out during the process. I think that's it.